Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are going to continue building the Lego Creator 3 in 1, the townhouse pet shop and uh, cafe set. I knew there was still a word in there. We are exactly halfway through this and we actually left it at this, which is quite a cohesive build, just all on its own, but we've still got more to go. Now we've got, I think, I think this is the last minifigure to, to meet in the set, this old dude with his mustache. Shouldn't call him the old dude, he looks, <laughs> he looks very distinguished and he gets to hang out here with the puppy dog back in the corner while we continue on with the build and the next actual level I think actually I don't know I, I don't actually know I love the whole have you noticed that there are these little archways in the walls which are little mice holes <laughs> isn't that cute there are mice holes riddled this whole place is riddled with mice holes ah okay might want to get the exterminators out but not for this particular part of the build because this is this is, this is the front, this is the front entryway, and this is, I'm pretty sure, look at these beautiful blue walls! This is the pet shop! So we don't really want to get the exterminators out, because that would be incredibly bad for the fact that this pet shop has got mice in it. I love this section of wall over here where a bit of the, bit of the rendering or the paints come off the brickwork, and you've just got some raw brick there, and it looks, it just breaks up all that blue. It looks so real and cool. Okay. Concentrating on what we're doing, we are building not a not a uh, not a cash register for the store, but an ATM for out the front. Here's the screen, and that goes right here at the front. And this guy can get some money. Here it is, stashed down the bottom. <laughs> Don't really need a pin code to get that out. It's just waiting. Here's our door. A nice big window. Nice, really nice big modern glass window. Actually, I'm liking. I'm really enjoying all of this build because one, it's interesting, and two, it's quite modern and I do like modern builds. I like learning things with the architecture of older style builds but I do like I do like the look of the newer ones. Okay so we have got the plenty going on here at the moment including some interesting grill work inside that door on the top. I'm not certain why that's there. There's probably oh you know how they have the egg I oh, got it that air conditioning thing that blows down to stop the cold air from getting out. Now <laughs> focusing on what we're doing look we've got a little tiny fish but little tiny fish tank that's holding quite a reasonable sized fish that has taken up the whole space in the fish tank so we've got a fish tank over here definitely the pet store and everything in here is buildable which is so cool so this pet here is a buildable pet this is your next pet it's a toucan a toucan on a stick here's the toucan's perch he's right in the front window to entice passers-by to come in and buy him He's beautiful, exotic bird. And here is that mouse I was talking about, little grey mouse hiding there behind. Oh, he's got a wedge of cheese too. Hiding behind the the the, the, the cash register bit. This, this is the cash register. It's an old fashioned cash register. Isn't that so cool? Just made out of four bricks. So cool. Okay, so he's under the counter, under the cash register. And here we've got some eyeballs. And oh, this is the sign for the pet shop. And you got a couple of kind of faces here, or pet faces mashed together. I think there's a parrot on the right hand side, maybe a monkey or a puppy on the other side. I'm not certain what the brown thing is with the pink. I reckon it's a monkey, maybe. It could be whatever you want it to be. You're gonna have to interpret that for yourself, I think. Okay, out the front, we've got some products. We've got some balls and some bones for all those dogs passing by. And this clicks in mouse hole to mouse hole. No, it goes here uh, right on the outdoor part of the cafe. Isn't that looking so cool? Look at that. And the cafe is right next door. <laughs> so you can duck next door. We're up to the next bag. So which means each bag has been a dedicated room for each of these builds. And no, for each, a room for the build, for, for, for the whole build. And each of these rooms are modular so you can pull them out. You can unplug them from the wall or wherever they are. You can remove them around and decide where you want them to be. But at the moment we've got a lot of glass work going on in this particular room. That's very fancy. Very fancy. And some nice wooden um, fascia boardings here. We've got the lined ones on the outside, so I reckon that's here, yeah, fascia boarding. And the brickwork on the inside. And now we get to alternate red strips with black studs to make a really fancy, a really fancy blind for the outside of our glass window. There's a lot of glass here, so you're going to need blind. You can pull the blind over to try and stop the sun from coming in and putting the glare on the TV. 
<laughs> so we can angle it however wherever we need it lining the top now with black and then we smooth it off with gray and there's little studs on the top there so we can attach another level on top and at the moment it's empty so what furniture goes in here let's see all buildable furniture this is a very modern looking couch and lined on the back with dark blue too very swish and this goes over here along this wall and there are studs on there so you can attach your minifigure's legs to it and it looks nice in the blue and the and the white <laughs> very classy very modern and here on the other white benchy kind of thing we may is it like a bookcase looks like a bookcase we got uh, put that on the wrong way around uh no we didn't there we go that's better and so a bookcase down the bottom got glass sides holding it up and that goes over here and we can move the blind around on the outside so that we can stop that yeah that sun glare from getting on our really important race and our really important racing program ah uh, we got a plant in the corner too which almost almost went in without us noticing while i couldn't say stuff and this doesn't look like another piece of furniture at all this is not looking like a shower like I originally thought. It's a cup! It's a gigantic coffee cup with steam coming out. That's so clever. A Lego built coffee cup on the side of the building. And, okay, we've got a coffee cup for the cafe, like advertising the cafe. And now we get a whole heap of traffic light thingies to go around here. And a cap on the top and a rod in the back so that we can attach it to here Ooh, smart okay so this goes up here so there's a road obviously going out in front of the ATM in front of the pet shop and we got the traffic lights that's so cool it's such a great detail okay looking good we're up to bag number six oh okay I think this is the last floor well might be because it's the last bag so that would make logical sense Okay, so lots of grey going on here along the wall though. Looks like we're putting a stripe, a nice stripe of black to break all that grey up. Oops, spoke too soon. Here's some more grey, but oh, look at this colourful bedspread on this, what is obviously a bed. That's a nice simple bed, but it's so colourful. It's going to make all that grey look less sombre. And look, the old dude can have a bit of a sleep in the corner. That's a nice looking bed. And eat, eat, let's see what other furniture actually fits in here. Nice little simple build for a bedside table. I like that a lot. And some glass, lots of good, modern, beautiful looking glass going on, including a little area out here. It's a balcony. There's a little balconette. I'm going with balconette because it's like a little balcony. <laughs> and a couple of token weeds growing out here these twirly fern things which are not very secure on there keep popping them off and of course we're going to need a door to get out onto our balcony Ooh, just barely opens that door doesn't really need to open we can fly him out from around the sides this is cool this is a nice simple little bedside lamp and he doesn't really need the lamp because he's busy looking at his iphone all the time which is backlit anyway <laughs> that's cool though i like that lamp design stylish modern simple i like it all and this is definitely looking like it's matching the uh yeah it's matching the wall from the other part of the apartment with our our paneling boarding going on in the outside I like the brickwork on the inside though it's really cozy and another yep another matching blind to the one that was downstairs or in the other room of the apartment and this once again does the same purpose as the one before but it doesn't have quite as large an area to actually fulfill oh that's such a cute little just look at that tiny little outdoor light there oh that's adorable and now we get to line along the top Looks like we are finished with this room, except there's a hole on the outside. So let's plug that with an air conditioner, shall we? It's a perfect place to pop an air conditioner. It's important that we keep our temperature, our climate moderated when we're trying to sleep. And there's a random light, uh, a light hanging off the end of the air conditioner. That's so clever. Multi-purpose air conditioning unit. Okay, so we have got another, we've got another I was going to say another room, but it's too small to be a room. I'm not certain what this is. It's the roof. This is going to be the roof. Oh, this is cool. I'm not certain. 
are we going to put a garden up here? No, we're not going to put a garden up here. We've got some solar panels or a skylight maybe. No, it's a solar panel. It's got to be solar panels because we've got little actual like buttons on the bottom to, to, to indicate that it's electrical maybe. And here, clever, nice. We're creating an awning out of black plates, sorry, black um, tiles and... What am I saying black? They're brown tiles and they go up here. And doesn't that just look so smart? It has such beautiful texture and that goes right on top of our other room. And it looks fantastic. And look at that. We are done. It's not the most stable of builds because it's only kind of plugged in with two Technic plugs on each side. Speaking of Technic plugs, we've got some sort of technique tube work to put together. Speaking of it not being too stable, maybe this will help stabilize those bits that were wobbly. So it kind of looks like we're making, I don't know, is it a drain pipe? Kind of guessing a drain pipe. We're going to be plugging this into the holes that currently don't have anything plugged into it. So up here and across to there, does that make it mm, fractionally more stable? Not really. Because <laughs> all of these rooms are designed to be broken apart and you can match them around however you want. But doesn't it look so, it's like a feast for the eyes. It's full of texture and color, but it's not too cluttered. And I have filled it with my mini dolls because this, this seriously needs some people living in it. I love this, I love this build. Should I break it down and do one of the other builds? I don't know that I'm gonna love any of the other builds quite as much as this, but there is another building, so hmm, we're gonna have to see. Now, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you would like to see happen to this build, and I'll be back with another one very, very soon. <laughs> I'll see you then, bye.